Hello everyone, today I've got something really special for you. Back in version 2022.3, Tableau released dynamic zone visibility and it makes creating drill downs so much simpler. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do a three level drill down. Let's look at an example. Here I'm starting at the region level and I'm comparing sales versus quantity. I click on a region and it drills down to the state level. Click on a state, it drills down to the postcode level. Click on a postcode and it goes back to the region level. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build exactly this view. And if you stick around till the end, I've got a special treat in for you. I'm going to take my scatterplot visualization and quickly turn it into a different view that your audience might prefer. Let's get started. First, we're going to create our scatterplot. Double click on sales, double click on quantity, and drag region to color. Change the mark type to a circle. And let's increase the size a bit to make sure we can see them. I'm going to also drag region to the label shelf. Rename the sheet Sales by Region. Duplicate the sheet. Add State to the Detail shelf. Rename the sheet Sales by State. Double click on the title and after the sheet name, I'm going to add in the region that was selected. Choose Insert Region. Click on Apply. Right now it says All, but don't worry about that. Right click on Sales by State and Duplicate. Let's add Postal Code to the Detail shelf. Double click on the sheet name and call it sales by postal code. In the sheet title, we have region. Let's add in the state as well. From the insert menu, choose state. Click on apply and then click on OK. Great, our three scatter plots are built. Now we want to create the drill down. Let's create a calculated field called blank. Inside of the function, just do quote quote. Click on OK and drag blank to the detail shelf of the postal code level scatter plot. We need this blank field to help us reset the view back to the region level. You'll see. Let's now create a region parameter. I'm going to name it to region parameter. In the data type, I'm going to choose string. In the current value, I'm going to leave it as blank. Click on OK. Let's create another parameter. Call this one three state parameter. Let's again make it a string and set the current value to a blank. Click on OK. Now we need three calculated fields to determine what level of granularity we're at for the view. Create a new calculated field. Let's call this one for region level. We know we're at the region level if our region parameter is equal to blank and our state parameter is equal to blank. Click on OK. Create another calculated field. Let's call this one five state level. At the state level, our calculation is region level equals false and state parameter equals quote quote. Click on OK. One more. Create another calculated field. Let's call this one six postal code level. Hopefully by now you can see how these are building on top of each other. In this calculation, we want to check that our region level is equal to false and our state level is equal to false. Click on OK. Great, those three calculations are done. What we want to do now is when we're on the state sheet, we want it to filter to the region that's picked in the region sheet. To do that, let's create another calculated field. Let's call this one seven region filter. You might wonder why I'm putting numbers in front of these. I do that so that they're organized nice and neat and I understand the steps that I needed to do to create them. Our region filter checks to see whether our region parameter is equal to a region. Click on OK. We want to drag the region filter onto the filter shelf on the state sheet. Choose false and exclude. Click on OK. Let's go over to our sales by postcode sheet. For this one, all we're going to try to determine is does the state parameter have a value? Let's create a new calculated field. Let's call this one eight state filter. Here, we're going to say the state is equal to our state parameter. Click on OK. Drag that field to the filters. Choose false and exclude. Now, if you see true come up as an option in here as well, just choose true and do not check the exclude option but you can always do it like this as well. Both ways will work fine. Click on OK. Now, notice our postal code level is blank, our state level is blank, but our region level is not. If I show my two parameters for region and state, notice they're both blank. That tells me that I'm at the region level. A region hasn't been selected and a state hasn't been selected. Now let's create a dashboard. In order for dynamic zone visibility to work, they have to be inside of a container. I'm gonna drag in a vertical container. Inside of this container, I'm gonna drag in all three of my sheets. 
Make sure they all go in the same container. On the right hand side, our two parameters popped up and our region color shelf popped up. I'm gonna leave those there for now, just so I can see that my parameters are working when I test them. Now we need to set up our dynamic zone visibility. Click on the region sheet, go to the layout tab on the left hand side, choose control visibility using, and pick region level. Choose the sales by postcode sheet, control visibility using, postcode level. Sales by state sheet, control visibility using, and state level. Great, so now our dynamic zone visibility is set up. The last thing we need to do is set up our parameter actions that allow us to drill down. From the menu, choose dashboard and actions. We're gonna add an action called change parameter. I'm gonna call this one update region parameter. This is controlled by the sales by region sheet only. Our target parameter is our region parameter and our source field is our region. Click on okay. Let's add another parameter action. Call this one update state parameter. This one is going to be controlled by the sales by state sheet. The parameter we're going to update is the state parameter and the source field is the state. Click on okay. Now we need to tell Tableau that when we click on a postcode, we want to go back to the region level. And this is where that blank field comes in handy. Add action, change parameter. I'm going to call this one update region parameter blank. This is going to be triggered by my sales by postal code sheet. The parameter I want to update is my region parameter, and I'm going to set it to the blank field. So if you can picture this in your head, what Tableau is doing is it's resetting the parameter to an empty string. Click on OK. Add one more action. Let's call this one update state parameter blank. Again, this is going to be controlled by the sales by postal code sheet. Our target parameter this time is our state parameter, and our source field is a blank. Click on OK and click on OK again. Now keep an eye on these parameters on the right hand side. Let's click on the central region. Notice my parameter now gets populated with central. My state sheet is filtered to the central as we can tell in our title. And now click on a state and it drills down to the postal code level. Click on a postal code and it resets to the region level. Now I did notice something. When I click on a region, my labels for my state are wrong. I want those to be states. So I'm gonna go back to my sales by state sheet remove region from the text shelf, and add state to the text shelf. Go to my sales by postal code sheet, remove region from the text shelf, and add postal code to the label. Let's go back to our dashboard and give it another test. There we go. Click on east, it drills down to the states in the east. Click on Pennsylvania, and it drills down to the postal codes in Pennsylvania. Notice on the right hand side, our parameters are populated with the east region and Pennsylvania as the state. That's how we know that we're at the postcode level. Click on a postcode and those both reset to blank. Choose this container on the right hand side. We don't need this. I'm going to choose the X that says remove from dashboard and choose delete containers. And there you go, a three level drill down. You could go four levels, five levels, six levels, as many as you want. Just continue to follow these steps along the way. But here's the bonus tip. Let's say that we show this to our audience and we love the scatter plot drill down, but they're like, you know what? I just want to see bar charts. Here's the really simple way to do it. Choose each of the sheets at the bottom, right click and choose duplicate. Go to the sales by region two, edit the title, call it sales by region, click on okay. Go up to show me and change the view to a bar chart. Remove quantity from the view and sort descending. I'm gonna also add region to the color just so it's a bit easier to see. Right click on my header and choose hide field labels for rows. Go to the sales by state sheet and let's repeat those same steps. In the title, change sheet name to sales by state. Click on OK. Choose a bar chart. Remove quantity. Move region from the rows to color. And now go to the sales by postal code. Choose a bar chart. Move blank to detail. Move region to color. And move state to detail. Remove quantity from the columns. Double click on the title and change sheet name to sales by postal code. Click on OK. Hide the show me. If we go back to our scatter plot and we click on a region, and then go back over to our bar chart for sales by state, you'll see we now have our sales by state. So I'm gonna sort that descending. Right click on the header and hide field labels. Go back to the dashboard, click on a state to drill down to the postal code level. Go back to our sales by postal code bar chart and sort that descending. Right click on the header and hide the field labels. Great, now we have our three sheets built and we can build our new dashboard. We have to start by dragging in a container. Drag in the sales by region bar chart the sales by state bar chart, and the sales by postal code bar chart. 
Now we want to set up the dynamic zone visibility for each of these charts. Choose the sales by postal code sheet. Go to the layout tab, control visibility using, and postal code level. Go to the sales by state sheet, control visibility using, state level. Sales by region sheet, control visibility using, region level. Now we need to set up our parameter actions. Go up the dashboard actions, and we're gonna set up the same list of four parameters again, but we need to do it for this dashboard. Add an action, change parameter. I'm gonna call this one update region parameter. It's only controlled by the sales by region sheet. The target parameter is our region parameter and our source field is our region. Click on okay. Add another action. Let's call this one update state parameter. Uncheck sales by postcode, uncheck sales by region. This time our target parameter is our state parameter and our source field is our state. All Tableau is doing here is when we click on a state, it's populating the parameter with the state that we clicked on. Click on okay. Now we need to add the two blank actions that tell Tableau when I click on a postcode, reset to the region level. Add an action, change parameter, update region parameter, blank. This is only controlled by the sales by postal code sheet. The target parameter is region, the source field is blank. Click on okay. One more action, update state parameter, blank. Again, controlled only by the sales by postal code sheet. Target parameter this time is our state parameter and our source field is blank. Click on okay, click on okay again to close the actions window. Click on a postal code and it resets to the region level. Click on a region and it drills down to the states in the west. Click on a state and it drills down to the postcodes in that state. On the right hand side, let's remove this container from the dashboard. And there you go. We have our three level drill down for both a scatter plot and a bar chart. I hope you found this useful. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. I don't want you to miss any new content I create. And while you're at it, go to andykreeble.com and sign up for my newsletter. Every week, I provide tips, tricks, access to exclusive videos, and discounts to products that I create. Have a good day.